creators welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Christy and this is Christy creates and if you're not new welcome back I also wanted to give you guys a quick reminder that this week is the first week of the crafting competition that will be hosted over on Heidi Sonbull's channel and she chose 10 crafters and youtubers that have between 5,000 and 19,999 subscribers and in those 10 people I was one of the ones chosen which literally my heart could have exploded y'all like for real but we're going to be competing each week for four weeks and you guys are going to be the voters so make sure on Friday that you go to Heidi's channel, her Heidi Sonbold DIY channel. She will post a video that will have one DIY from each of the 10 of us. So those will be like our best of the week. We will send those to her. You watch her video and then after you watch her video, each of us of the 10 of us are going to post a video on our channel and that will have four more DIYs per person. So that's 40 more DIYs on top of the 10 that you've already seen on Heidi's channel. So Friday, plan on binge watching some DIYs because it's going to be amazing, y'all. Like, uh, amazing. I cannot wait to watch all the videos. But we will be counting on your guys' votes, and you get one vote per person, and that's it. One vote. So make sure it counts. And hopefully it will be for me, but if it's not, I understand there's a lot of awesome crafters that are competing against me, so please vote for me. But make sure, for real, that you've got your notifications turned on, and you will be there as soon as the videos go live because it's going to be awesome y'all for real awesome all right our first project is this adorable little rainbow picture and it was $29.99 at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to take a picture that I found at my Kirkland's which was going out of business the other day and they had everything 75% off so I got this actual artwork for less than $5 and I thought I couldn't even go get the wood to make this so I'm just going to use it and paint over it. So you could use you know some Dollar Tree signs and put them together and that would work as well. So I painted with one coat of Waverly white chalk paint and now I'm drying in between the coats with cool setting on my blow dryer. I'm going to remove the little hanger off of the back of the rainbow and this rainbow I got at Dollar Tree. I thought it was so cute and it actually looked a lot like the picture that I found at Hobby Lobby. And these are some little felt flower stickers that I had in my stash. Um, I did notice the other day at Hobby Lobby they do have those again this year and they are half price right now because they are in the spring section. And we are just sticking those on with the stickers that are on the back. Now some of them, because they're older, the sticker part had popped loose. So I do occasionally hot glue the sticker back on. But the stickers seem to hold really well. And I did one side and then I won't make you watch both sides. And that is it. We're going to glue the rainbow down with some wood glue. And you guys, that simple and easy how stinking adorable this would be so cute in a little girl's room you could even cut a stencil with her name and put it across the rainbow like so many possibilities so many different colors you could even paint the rainbow so cute and cost me less than five dollars to make you guys Today's video is the March edition of the Chic for Cheap Craft Challenge. And if you're new to this, it's a challenge that I host every single month on the first Monday of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I invite all of my creator friends, and that includes you, to join me 
and you create something as cheap as possible but make sure it's really chic. So something really cool and stylish for your home that you've found in Hobby Lobby, online at Wayfair or Joss and Main or Pottery Barn, wherever you find it, just take a picture or a screenshot of the item that you're recreating and then the price of the item that you're recreating. And then you use whatever items you want. They can come from Hobby Lobby, they can come from Dollar Tree, they can come from your recycle bin and you make it, you can either recreate it exactly or you can make your version of that item and then tell us the price that it cost you to make your recreation. So if you ever wanna join, just make sure you upload on the first Monday of the month and then we can link you to the playlist so that you will be included and everybody can watch your video. Make sure after you watch my video today and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, but make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below because that helps my video to be seen. And you know, I put a lot of hard effort into these videos. It takes me a lot of time and a lot of love. So make sure that you're helping me out if you have time by leaving me a quick little comment, even if it's just a thumbs up emoji, or let me know what you thought about what I created. Make sure after you do check that out that you go down to the playlist and watch all of the other videos of the people who worked so hard to create something that you guys hopefully will love. I want to give a quick shout out and thank you to my co-host for the month who is Anna Lee over at Anna Lee Ashby DIY. Make sure after you watch my video that you go check her out and make sure you're subscribed to her because she creates some of the most adorable things, but she also does a lot of like woodworking type projects, which us women can do. I thought I would pop in a picture of Anna Lee's YouTube and Instagram. Make sure you go follow her on both. I found this cute little decor at Joann's the other day and it's very minimalistic and you could make it that way, but I wanted to show you a super quick and super simple way to make something that looks a lot like that. And if you wanted to change it, all you would have to do would be to paint the back of this egg and make it whatever color you wanted. So I took a headband, the little Easter Bunny headband from Dollar Tree and this little egg wood sign from Dollar Tree and I'm literally going to glue them together. So I'm gonna use some of my E6000 Quick Hold and some hot glue. You could probably get away with just using hot glue um, I just wanted it to make sure it was gonna hold for a long time so that's why I used the E6000 but I just put a little bit on there and then in the spots that I didn't put the E6000 I put some hot glue and then I'm going to flip that over and stick it down and then because there is that hole at the top I am going to put a little bow up there um, here I'm going to take just a little piece of jute and glue that jute cord to the fuzzy headband and it sticks really really well. Um, you can also use a little bit of masking tape to cover the hot glue and that will make it stick even better. Um, and this way you've got a little hanger on the back if you want to hang it on the wall. And you could also even make some ears yourself if you didn't like the fuzzy headband you know take some of that wired jute cord um, and some burlap and it would be a cute little set of ears and you could even cover the egg with some of the wood grain contact paper from the Dollar Tree and then you would get a look very similar to the one at Joann's. I just wanted today's episode to be something super super simple and easy and that way no one would have a problem recreating any of these. And here I'm going to show you how to make a little bow. Um, there I'm just showing you that it hangs by itself. But here I took some of this sparkly ribbon that I had gotten, I believe, at Hobby Lobby a while back. And I'm going to make a super simple bow. I'm just going to fold over two separate pieces and then I'm going to cut another piece 
that will be the center of my bow and it's all it takes is a little folding over a little hot glue and then it's ta-da you have a bow I tried to leave this part slower so you could really see what I was doing so that if you have trouble making bows this is a super simple way that you guys can make a really cute little bow and you could use you know as long as it's wired ribbon you can make these type of bows look really cute and like you know what you're doing. And while you're watching me make this bow, I thought I would remind you guys if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you think about doing that before you head on over to someone else's channel. And if you have an Instagram, be sure to go over there and follow me on Instagram as well. I always post pictures of the items that I make. And I make sure I post there anytime that I post a new video so that you guys know, just in case you don't get the notifications from YouTube, which make sure if you do subscribe and you want to get the notifications that you ring the little bell and click all. And that way they will remind you every time that I do upload a new video. Now I know the bow right now looks really flat, but once you get it glued down, that's when you have the chance to make it really pretty. So I covered that hole, that way it disappears. You never even know it was there. And then once I get it glued down and it is dry, I kind of wait for just a minute, then you kind of start fluffing it. And this is where the wire comes in handy because it makes you look like you know what you're doing. I promise. It's a no fail bow. So what do you guys think about this? Like I said, you can change this up to whatever makes your eyes happy. I just wanted to give a quick and super simple way that you can make some really cute spring and Easter decor for your home. And this piece was at Hobby Lobby for $29.99, you guys. $29.99, and I was like, whoa, hold on, we can make that. So I grabbed a couple of different size vases from Dollar Tree, and then I got some of the nautical rope. You could use, you could even use just regular jute twine for this if you can't find the nautical rope. And for the tall one, which was the same size as the one at Hobby Lobby, I used two packages of the nautical rope. Um, on the smaller one, I used one package. I wanted them to have different heights on the actual cording. And I'm just taking some hot glue and gluing it down. I do go ahead and glue it pretty much all the way around and stick it back to itself because sometimes hot glue doesn't want to stick to glass very well. But if you stick it back to itself, it should hold really well and for a long period of time. So I do just kind of take my time and make sure I'm getting it nice and even on the bottom. And I won't make you suffer through watching me do all of both of them, but I just, like I said, for the ones who have never done this before, I thought I would slow it down so you could see what I was doing. And then I will speed through it and we will get on to our pom-poms next. And I hope you guys appreciate some super quick and simple DIYs from time to time. I know a lot of mine actually go into a lot more detail and, you know, take a little bit more crafting experience, but I do like to throw in some super easy ones from time to time. So I hope you appreciate that. Now I'm going to burn the rope just to get all of those little fuzzies off of it. This is just a quick, Hit it with the lighter. You don't hold it on there very long. And now I'm just randomly gluing on the pom-poms, which I got these at Dollar Tree. They were the very springy colored ones. 
and I did one in pink and one in orange so that it would match my craft room and you could do it in whatever color you want and you could even make the pom-poms yourself out of yarn. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. It literally means the world to me every week that I post a video and you guys stop by, leave me, you know, a thumbs up, put some sweet little comment, you send me a DM on Instagram. Like guys, it literally makes me smile. Every comment I read, every message I get, anybody who sends me a picture of something they've recreated uh, that I've made, you guys, it literally means the world to me. And I just wanna send a quick thank you to each and every one of you who continually show up for me and show me lots of love. <laughs>